that's okay, but um, my queen um, yeah, wasn't protected at all, I was just hiding it, and the bottom team should have concentrated on killing um, her, I think. Sorry. <coughs> um, good old antivir protecting my CPU. Just updated. Um, so I'm still around with Observer and um, the Queen and now the bottom team um, tries to start and um, put quite some pressure on us with a tank drop I think here by Weissanoop, he's kind of famous for that <coughs> And but still my Queen is still around and I have enough energy to brood any incoming tank drops because once some tanks have been dropped here and you brood one tank um, <clears throat> then those hero broodlings will, um, I think, own the whole uh, drop tanks. And now the bottom team is, starts to push in, and that's the timing. That's yeah, pretty lucky timing. By the the arbiter still has been no, actually not being parasited, but I catch um, them off guard and was able to kill the arbiter before the arbiter is able to stasis. Also, nice job by Rainian going for guardians and pulling uh, them here to get rid of the tanks. Um, I think I also brooded one tank, so um, these tanks cannot do any more damage to our Nexus. Um, because we lost the shield and see our uh, health points went down to two-thirds. And um, uh, why, uh, Ryan, uh, Rainian sorry, went for um, shield, that was pretty important. And here once again I tried to go for Phoenix and the vessel, I don't know why, it was just so late. And I went accidentally for five Toms and an Yggdrasil. But anyway, that uh, wasn't such a bad um, <coughs> bad thing, um, as we can see. Um, so I was able to um, kill all those uh, wraiths, or uh, just um, scare them away. They would have uh, killed my queen, most probably, or tried to. My queen, by the way, uh, full health points now because of the shield, uh, also regenerates health points of your um, units. And um, yeah, I'm keeping my toms uh, back here because you can see uh, Ego knows that, and he's um, storming the Nexus because usually you, if I had my toms here, splash damage of the Archons would have killed them most probably. Together with the storms, that would have been absolutely cruel. And um, now let's see, why so is nope, not dropping, but expecting us kinda here with his tanks. A lot of Ultralisk now for Ego, so they really want to push in, and I think that's what they do now, that's the right thing to do. They need to push in, Ultralisk will block any units and kill the shield points. Okay, what they lack definitely is anti-air, <laughs> and that's because, yeah, uh, that's why I went for Guardians, and I only went for Guardians because I knew I also have um, Toms and an Observer around, so now um, if anything is incoming and tries to kill my... Um, Guardian, so I mean, um, uh, by the way, going for Guardian once again by Rainian isn't necessary here, but um, anyway, um, yeah, and as I just said, uh, and now I'm uh, self killing my Guardians because <clears throat> if you want to suicide them here, it takes quite some time. If I start attacking here, then all those raids could just fly, rip, and if they have shield or something, I cannot know that they might be able to bring down all my Toms. Um, <clears throat> so now let's see, we have quite some um, wraiths around here, but I think they don't... Um, okay, I'm not sure... Oh yeah, and here they they kill <laughs> and ensnare those to be on the safe side, and Tom's kill the rest, but um, well done here, just sniping all my shuttles, so my Reavers weren't able to um, get dropped here quickly. Um, Nexus situation is now, I think, yeah, more or less equal. Uh, still, without uh, um, nah, without shuttles, the Reavers were kind of uh, um, nah, <laughs> use, useful to um, prevent that push here and kill some units. But anyway, our shield went down more, and then a cruel Psystorm here by Ego catching all those Hydralisks. And um, he might have no, no more energy. 
and he's going for race and he went as 100k hero for double phoenix and the vessel and um, I don't know at that stage of the game I think I saw them I think I saw them spawning in some way I don't know why exactly and I tried to fly there with the queen and I noticed those wraiths around so I knew if you go there with the queen now the queen is dead and double tricks on the phoenix is immediately so no um, no EMP instead of that and yeah now I think I use my toms here to kill those uh, wraiths and I have the queen ready and one brood and double brood nope actually not the queen went down the, the broodlings have already been shot and the toms kill the other uh, phoenix and um, the vessel um, I'm not sure if the second tricks phoenix would have um, focused the toms he might have killed one or two I'm not sure but that happened so fast and now a lot of um, hello um, stuff here uh, yeah <laughs> vessel goes down I killed one of the infesteds uh, then um, the observer died and I couldn't see it and then I come back and um, yeah kill the other one also uh, he just could have um, stayed there burrowed but he cannot know if we have an observer around still or not and if you know there's an observer around then there's no sense in waiting there and just um, um, die so um, that was um, pretty lucky here. Um, uh, yeah, so we we killed both um, 100k and 150k heroes without getting too much damage. And um, yeah, that was pretty um, lucky also for me here. Ego waiting with a reaver drop, and that would have pound us kinder. And I was just uh, using the toms and scouting around if there is something. I do that uh, way not uh, often enough. And then I had 225k hero selector um, suddenly. And I went for an arbiter. I thought like, okay, um, the longer you wait, the stronger the bottom team will get. They will get heroes once again, and their chances are way better than ours because they're playing uh, together and are used to that. So I went for the arbiter, quickly flew over there, and I selected a duke, put my toms here and the Yggdrasil, and then I recalled everything here. And um, then the duke started with his um, evil business here. And um, yeah, I had the toms and I had an observer. Um, I brought the other toms also over there, I think. And um, yeah, I had I had to move back because the bottom team went for observer, and um, they also attacked my toms. I tried to snipe the observers here, number one, and here's the second one also goes down. But at that time, I already lost um, I think four toms. I just had one more. And uh, but still, they didn't attack the Yggdrasil. They attacked the Duke. And uh, if the Duke has been dropped, uh, then you really need to. Um, I think my Queen, by the way, went down. Meanwhile, those scouts might have killed uh, her. Um, whereas the Duke, you need Corsair and and web it. Try to get a High Templar storm on it. If it's web, then it's kind of not that um, hard. But um, yeah, you have to go there. To get their or drop reavers um, or to lock it down and uh, yeah you can see that uh, was it the shield has been removed and yeah now they go for courses but it was a bit too late and it was GG and yeah then I was um, pretty happy because uh, I knew um, if the game would have been uh, would have lasted for some more time then our chances uh, wouldn't have grown at all and yeah so that was um, yeah, also pretty well done, I have to say, by Rainian. I didn't uh, pay too much attention, I have to say. I focused um, on using um, the chances um, to do anything, and it was pretty lucky that we were able to kill the um, double hero selectors. Um, not the selectors, but the heroes of the bottom team. That's all always um, a question of um, being lucky and timing, and everything has to just work out um, could have been the other way around of course and I'm sure if we try to play that game on a on a normal day um, we we are most probably not winning it but um, yeah anyway <coughs> so um, that's it um, I'm trying to do some more commentaries had some awesome 3 and 3 games also um, Ego Kill and Wysonu participating in it and um, yo so that's uh, that's it from Wenham um, see you later